It's too early for this. Hey guys, I'm Cooper. And I'm Elijah. And you're watching the Snooze. Broadcast for the student and by the student. Now let's get into some Snooze news. Marvel Comics co-founder Stan Lee has died at age 95. For those of you who don't know who Stan Lee is, he was a creator of ma many well-known superheroes you know today, such as Spider-Man, Iron Man, and the Incredible Hulk. Lee died at Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles of pneumonia this Monday, November 12th. Lee leaves behind a wife and two children. Raging wildfires in California has left 42 people dead. More than 200 people are still missing after the California's deadliest wildfire. The fire has burned to close to 7,000 buildings and has torn through at least 113,000 acres. As of now, only 30% of the fire is contained. In local news, Greenville High School student Jeremiah Williams died November 9th from injuries sustained during a football game. The junior who was a defensive back broke his C1 and C4 vertebrae making the tackle. He was later airlifted to UMMC and remained in a ventilator a week before he passed. Ole Miss Chancellor Jeff Vitter announced his resignment Friday, November 9th. At the time of Vitter's hiring, he was given a four-year contract that was set to expire June of 2020. He will officially step down as the Chancellor of University of Mississippi January 3rd, 2019. Vitter has not yet confirmed a direct reason that he will not follow through until the end of his contract. An Oxford man was killed last Wednesday, November 7th, by a drunk driver. According to the Oxford De police, De police Department, the victim, a 47-year-old pedestrian, was hit by an intoxicated Arkansas native who is now in custody. The driver was charged with the DUI and the case is still under investigation. This week, the snooze focused on the visiting high school German theater group and their performance. Let's take a look. Yeah, so we had auditions before because we're here with the play Beat a Man at the Fire Races. I want to improve my English skills. Um, I also love theater, so it's really much fun to show other students how theater is in Germany. And uh, I mean, the people in America are just great. So we started in Chicago, and that was our in the Latin school. So and we had a performance there. Then we saw a talent show from them. Then we went down to uh, Oval. And actually, it's um, European tradition that plays have to be current, and it's referring to the current topic of populism. It's about a guy and his uh, wife who live in a house, and he's having a decent life. It's really nice. Um, he has his own hair tonic company, and um, there are two um, girls showing up. Um, and they're the arsonists, and they're trying to burn down the house. Tell this Mr. Peter Manuel, we are arsonists, Mr. Peter Man, and he doesn't believe them, and he lets them in, and that's what is happening right now with populism in Germany. It's like showing how, like for example, extremists, like populists, or communists are able to undermine governments and cultures and societies. And um, that's probably much what the play is about to show how stuff like that can happen. I mean, America is one of my most favorite countries. I mean, I like Germany a bit better, but I, I just love both countries. And it's, the people are amazing. It's easy to start a conversation like everywhere. That's not, that's not normal in Germany. We learn about what to do, what not to do, what are hush topics, um, that we should beat around the bushes and don't be so direct like we're like in Germany. Like Germans are always very direct. Yeah. They say just whatever comes to their mind. For example, mind. you die your hair and you come up to a friend and she's like, Oh, wait! That yeah. color doesn't say you very well. <laughs> and here we learn we should say like, Oh, wow, that's an interesting choice. <laughs> there is no typical day. Like, every day is absolutely different. We have days where we drive for a long time. For, for example, yesterday when we drove from Columbus to um, Mississippi uh, to Oxford, that was, that was a long ride. But then we have other days where we just go from one museum to another one, but or a day where we just stay in school. So there is no typical day. We just do a lot of amazing stuff. We thank our teacher for um, making this all happen. We thank all the host families for their hospitality and yeah. all the teachers and students which welcomed us so nicely and with a lot They're of love and support. They're all very friendly. Yeah. Just opened their arms to us. So nice. Yeah. We're really happy that we could 
have made this experience. So it was. It's not usual in Germany yeah. to be that nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of The Snooze. I'm Cooper. And I'm Malaysia. And we'll see you next time.